you know what? I'm getting close. I'm, I think most of the subscribers are coming from that Randy video. I'm not flipping you off. Whatever. Whatever way I need to, I can get them, I'll take them. A uh, lot of medical stuff going on with me this week. Uh, let me get this. the dinosaur thing, Gary. sound and guitar you know why beep, 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 beep. the Mars is super distortion okay so last week my leg started swelling up my left leg uh, like really swelling up a lot uh, I went to my cousin who's a surgeon like a surgeon hey you know, weird Al doing like a virgin Actually, that turned out better than Mick, than uh, Molly Crew doing uh, Like a Virgin. Huh. Weird Al parroting Like a Virgin with Like a Surgeon. Get it? Great. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's old McMar stuff. The little turtle. He did. He trailed a lot. And I'm like, oh, I see what he's doing. And then I had to ask him. But I, I used to play a, a, almost exactly like him at first. And then when I got out of music and didn't start, I actually really didn't start playing guitar until the last several years. And my technique is totally different. But when I record, still sounds the same because because of, of the way I play my chords and everything so anyways getting back to my leg so he says that you've got a surface blood clot or SV, uh, SVT yeah instead of a deep vein thrombosis it's a surface vein thrombosis he goes just take some uh, you know aspirin take like uh, two every couple hours and elevate your leg it'll go away and this guy's a surgeon so I do it and I do my exercising and you know, part of the exercise is a quick three mile walk so that he goes well when you do the walk if it's a DVT or a deep vein you'll be dead if it's not then you'll you, you know you should feel a little better I'm like great so I went on it, and I didn't die. This was Thursday. Friday, I call up my doctor. He's not in. He's not in. So I just hung up. Because I'm not going to the hospital for nothing. But I'm tripping out because my leg's still getting bigger. It's red, and it's hot, and my toes look like sausages. And I got this little thing up here in my upper thigh. I'm like, what the fuck? So... I called back up, and it was like four something, and it's for Friday at the doctor's office. They friggin' everybody's gone, and I knew that would happen. But uh, I said, "This is the deal. My my cousin's a, a surgeon. He he checked us out. He says I have a blood clot in my left leg, and I want someone to look at it." They're like, oh, can you get down here in ten minutes? I go, no, I can't get down there in twenty minutes. If I leave right now, I could get down there in about 25 minutes. She goes, well, uh, the doctor's leaving at, uh, in 15 minutes. I go, that's quarter to five or something like that. I go, can he, you know, so anyways. I go, apparently, you don't seem to care. So uh, I got nothing to worry about. She goes, no, a blood clot's a blood clot. I go, yeah, that's what I say. Just come in Monday. I'll schedule you with another doctor. I go, is it my doctor going to be in? Yeah, but he's very busy. So I go in Monday morning. I'm tripping balls now because my leg is even worse. I don't feel good. Everything, everything is wrong. And uh, this guy's like, you know, I go, here, feel this. You know, not my dick, but the thing on my thigh. And uh, he's like, yeah... I don't think that's a clot. But if you do have a clot, it's a DVT. I'm like, what? He goes, we got to get you in and, you know, do a... Not a sonogram, but the thing they do for you know, when you're pregnant. How they found my last clot. Uh, the uh, You're saying it right now, okay? So they sent me to another place because their machine was out. Even though they had the gel and everything. You know how they put the jelly gel on you? Most of you have had kids now, by now, or I, I imagine. Or you know the situation. So, I go down, and hour, two hours, they do both legs. And she's like, I don't see anything. I don't see a clot. I go, what's that bump? And she goes, well, your vein goes like this. I go, why? It's just I don't know, maybe it's because of the swelling, or who knows. But it's nothing to be worried about. I go, what do you see down there? She goes, well, it's not a mass, so it's not a tumor. So it's clear. I mean, it's whatever they say, those words. You can see through it. So it's, a, it's most likely an infection. I'm like, great. 
So the doctor, you know, just written out, you know, uh, medication for blood clots. Not putting me in the hospital. Everybody I know has been put in the hospital. So the last blood clot I had was in my right leg. They did a bunch of surgery on it. I was expecting that to happen. And I said, please check for my leg. It took me three days to get them to do it. They finally did it. They found a blood clot, which was a DVT, which would have killed me. Dead. Deep vein thrombosis is the in inner. It'll go up into your heart, lung, whatever. You're done. So they put me on all this friggin' stuff for blood clots. And uh, since I've been on antibiotics all year, uh, they put me on some crazy stuff. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, they put me on, I don't know, antibiotics. And uh, this is Monday. So I'm taking all this stuff. Tuesday, 2 o'clock, nobody calls. I'm like, what the hell, man? So I call up the doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good news, no blood clot. I'm like, okay, yeah, I figured. So I should stop taking that medicine, right? He's like, yeah. I go, so just keep taking the other? He goes, yeah, and you're coming in tomorrow to see Dr. Stark, which is today. Um, no, that's my real doctor. I'm like, okay. I mean, you know, he's a little... Here. So, like he did today. But he's a nice guy. I like him. Um, plus, and he's a Stark. Doctor, he's Stark. Like the guy in the movie. He's also Iron Man, so it's convenient. Not really. So. So, he says, that's an infection, but it's, oh, what is it? The uh, cellu cell... Not cellulite, but cellu cellulesis. No, no cellulite, cellu cellulitis, something like that. He says it could either be, uh, oh shit. So it's an infection. Oh, so staph and not staph infection, but uh, the kind that goes up. What the hell is it called? My mind just went blank. Anyways, he's like, you don't have that. Your foot's swollen. It's going down. In the old days, we would have marked your leg. Two days later, if it was higher, then we know it's the bad one, and we give you this medication. If it's market and the red goes down, then you stay on the medication, and it should be done within a, a week. I'm like, okay. And he goes, and according to the notes from Monday, it has gone down. So I'm not too worried about it. I think it's a cellulitis, cellul whatever the flip. I already forgot. So he writes me up more. He goes, I want you to double. I want you to take a different, two different kinds of antibiotics and then see me next Monday and let's see what it's like. But if it looks totally like it's gone, you don't have to come in. I'm like, I'm going in anyways, Jack. I don't care. But, so that's what's going on. First, I thought I had a blood clot. All weekend, I get people praying for me. I'm doing, you know, rain, you know, anti-blood clot dances in the front yard. Whatever I can do. Because I don't have problems with my left leg. That's my good leg. That's the leg that didn't get destroyed. So, that's not, I know that has nothing to do with anything. And you probably really don't care. But, uh, that's the news, man. That's all I've been doing is dealing with that. <laughs>